Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Fissure Exact test for a 2x2 two two table only uh, using Microsoft Excel. I have a separate video where I actually use my own library that actually has a, or library add-in, that has a function for this, but in this video I'll go over if you don't want to install any add-ins. Um, I have my data in columns A and B as you can see and the thing we want to do first is actually create a small cross table so uh, i listed the two possible categories for each uh, as you can see only male and female were selected in this survey and um, i'll simply do a count if uh, which counts if uh, both of these are actually in here uh, so there were eight people who selected female and are from the netherlands uh, the sums are up here and the grand total as well we then determine the minimum and maximum for the top left cell. So what's the maximum value this can be and the minimum value? Well, uh, we can do that by simply saying, well, the maximum uh, as low should be, of course, a zero. Uh, and otherwise we take the row total, uh, we add the column total and we subtract the grand total. So as minimum, it can actually be zero. The maximum value is just the minimum of these two. So if it would be any higher than that, then um, because this test assumes fixed margins, so it can never become greater than 11 up here. So this can be at most 11, and then this one would be zero. We can already calculate a uh, the denominator for our probabilities, which is simply the number of combinations uh, from taking the grand total and if we select 11 of them so that's a large number as you can see then we need to calculate all the probabilities for all different tables ranging from where this one is 0 to 11 so those are in here as you can see I listed all of them um, then we can actually if we know one of them and the margins are fixed we can actually calculate um, all the other columns uh, B is simply, as you can see, the row total minus that one. C is simply the column total minus that one. And D is what this cell value would be, which would be then um, the row total minus uh, this one. So it's A, B, C, D in this case. The probability is then calculated just as uh, before. We take the number of combinations um, from our uh, row total um, and then we are choosing uh, the the not the, not that one but the g25 so that's the a value multiply that with the number of combinations from the second row and our c value and then we divide that by our denominator we calculated earlier so we do that for every possible a and finally we can then actually sum up all of the ones so we had an a of eight and then we're going to sum up all probabilities that are equal or less than the one we actually observed so we can use sum if we're going to sum if including the one that we actually had and that gives us a significance of 0 0.29 0 0.3 if you're round um, which is above the usual threshold of 0.05 and therefore we would not reject the assumption that there is uh, association that there is um, independence between um, gender and in this case uh, the where they had their secondary school all right i hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching